Eamon Holmes predicts Strictly Come Dancing Scandal will see bigger headlines to come. He has shared his thoughts on the ongoing Strictly Come Dancing Scandal, which has seen two professional dancers removed from the BBC show, and suggestions a third might soon be embroiled. Eamon Holmes has weighed in on the current controversy surrounding some Strictly Come Dancing professionals, suggesting there's more drama ahead. In recent weeks, the popular BBC dance show has been at the center of a scandal with two professional dancers being taken off air amid allegations over their behavior. There are bigger headlines to come on this story, Eamon ominously hinted, amidst whispers that yet another dancer might be caught up in the scandal. The Mirror has sought a statement from the BBC in response. Graziano Di Prima became the latest pro dancer to exit the program after the BBC commenced an inquiry into allegations from his celebrity partner, Zara McDermott. Zara made a public statement via her social media where she discussed how she had wrestled with the fear of opening up about what she experienced. For the latest TV and showbiz news, sign up to our newsletter. I was scared about public backlash, I was scared about my future. I was scared of victim shaming, she said. Despite these fears, Zara recently decided to face them and brought her concerns to the attention of BBC chiefs. I felt it was right that I post something regarding the recent media reports, she said on Instagram on Tuesday, July 16. She also spoke of the strict demands of being on Strictly and how she was well aware of the immense effort involved when signing up. She expressed her readiness and commitment to the cause from the beginning. I am a resilient person and I was fully prepared to put in whatever it took," Zara affirmed. Meanwhile, Graziano expressed remorse for his actions in a statement released on Saturday, attributing them to his intense passion. Graziano typed in a statement, I deeply regret the events that led to my departure from Strictly. My intense passion and determination to win might have affected my training regime. Respecting the BBC HR process, I understand it's best for the show that I step away. While there are aspects of this story involving external influences that I can't discuss at this time, I remain committed to being strong for my family and friends, he concluded. Giovanni Pernas excited strictly back in May following rumors that his former dance partner Amanda Abington had demanded to see rehearsal footage from her stint on the dancing competition while reportedly contemplating legal action. The Sherlock actress later publicly disclosed during that same month that she had been diagnosed with mild PTSD following her experience on Strictly. Rumors circulated that she held an emotional meeting with two of Giovanni's past dance partners, Good Morning Britain presenter Renver Singh and ex-Love Island host Laura Whitmore to talk about their own difficult experiences. In response, the professional dancer posted a lengthy rebuttal on his Instagram account addressing claims about his coaching methods. I reject any suggestion of abusive or threatening behavior, and I look forward to clearing my name, he declared. Those who have followed my journey on Strictly Come Dancing over the last decade will know that I am passionate and competitive. No one is more ambitious for their dance partners than me. Ruth Langsford not ready to find love again following split from Iman Holmes. Ruth Langsford is reportedly not ready to find love again following her split from her husband Iman Holmes. Tying the knot in 2010, being together for 27 years in total, it emerged in May that the couple had split. Iman and Ruth share their son Jack, who was born in 2002. Ruth Langsford is reportedly not ready to find love again following her split from her husband Iman Holmes. Tying the knot in 2010, being together for 27 years in total, it emerged in May that the couple had split. Iman and Ruth share their son Jack, who was born in 2002. Prior to meeting Ruth, Iman has three other children Declan, Rebecca and Niall, from his first marriage to Gabrielle Holmes, who he separated from back in 1994. Despite previous reports suggesting that Ruth was considering getting back into dating, it has now emerged that the loose woman panelist's friends are struggling to convince her to do so. Ruth's pals have been rallying around the star and telling her to meet someone new. Ruth has been completely shocked by it all. She doesn't feel ready, if truth be told, but she has been left reeling after seeing Iman get close to a new woman, 
A source told the Mirror. According to the source, Ruth's friends have a long list of men they'd like to set her up with to try and help with the 64-year-old's emotional roller coaster. There have been moments where she has been down, thinking that she would probably never meet another man at her age. But her pals have told her that is ridiculous and simply not true. The source added. Ruth's friends believe that she needs to enter a revenge romance and stop being being down on herself about the split as she prepares for the next step in the single life. Meanwhile, Eamon admitted that he was struggling with the recent breakdown of his marriage after winning an award at the TRIC Awards in London last month. I'm not okay. This is not a good time at all. It's too early to say. But I hope that we can still be friends, he said. Despite Ruth not being on Loose Women since April, it's reported that she will return to the ITV panel show in the coming weeks to talk about the fallout from her and Iman going their separate ways. A source told the Mail Online, Ruth knows the viewers are heavily invested in her breakup so she will be addressing her and Iman for the first time on the show. The audience has been there through the highs and the lows of her relationship. She has always been very open and honest. Society has changed, Eamon Holmes was in on Strictly Row amid bullying and abuse allegations. GB News presenter Eamon Holmes has delivered his verdict on the latest scandal to rock BBC show Strictly Come Dancing, as a third professional has been investigated in light of bullying allegations. Professional dancers Giovanni Pernis and Graziano Di Prima were ex from the celebrity dancing competition after former partners Amanda Abington and Zara McDermott spoke out about the treatment they received during training on the show. Gee News presenter Iman Holmes has delivered his verdict on the latest scandal to rock BBC show Strictly Come Dancing as a third professional has been investigated in light of bullying allegations. Professional dancers Giovanni Pernis and Graziano Di Prima were ex from the celebrity dancing competition, after former partners, Amanda Abington and Zara McDermott spoke out about the treatment they received during training on the show. Taking to social media, Di Prima released a statement to confirm his departure, admitting his intense passion and determination, affected my training regime with reports surrounding McDermott suggested the Love Island star was kicked and hit in rehearsals. Sharing his thoughts on the allegations, Eamon Holmes claimed, Society has changed, and what is expected of them, and it is not the program that needs to change. Praising Strictly, of which ex-wife Ruth Langsford appeared on in 2017, Eamon told GB News, It has a great feel-good factor. People say there was kicking and stuff, we don't know, we haven't seen it. We don't know what determines kicking or whatever. But what I'm saying is, if I told Stephanie, come on, come on, am I bullying her by shouting at that level? Right now, we might not say that. But in five years, people will say, actually, that's disgraceful. So it's all changing now. Detailing the allegations with Iman and Isabel, showbiz reporter Stephanie Tacky claimed that the incidents couldn't have happened at a worse time for the show as it approaches its 20th anniversary. Tacky explained, They've got so many things in store. There's been speculation that they want to do stuff at Buckingham Palace. So as with any reality TV show, if there's been any concerns flagged up of physical or verbal abuse, a broadcaster has to move to action. Noting the statements of Deprema and Pernis, Takey highlighted that the passion and determination of the professional dancers on the show sometimes doesn't resonate with the celebrities signing up to get the paycheck. Takey told GB News, It's okay when these celebrities are getting the paycheck to be on Strictly because they like the profile. But they need to understand hard work comes with Strictly. You're not just going to go on and be able to do the dance moves. But we live in a different culture now, so what Strictly might have got away with five years ago, it's not going to get away with now. Sharing her view on the Strictly scandal, Isabel Webster claimed that the standards have become so high in recent years there was most likely horrible pressure on celebrities like McDermott and Abington to do well. Isabel said, Having watched it for 20 years, the standard of dancing now, they're almost professional celebrities every week. 
And so if you are somebody like Sarah who isn't a good dancer, she was a sweet girl, but a hopeless dancer, and so there was probably horrific pressure on her. And the professional dancers, who are also celebrities themselves, want to be the winners. They want to be back the following year, so it's almost a bit toxic now. They want to be in it to win it. Following the investigations in axes of Deprema and Pernis, the BBC are now reportedly planning to introduce chaperones during training and the appointment of two new welfare producers. A statement from the BBC has said, Concerns that have arisen in recent months have been fundamentally about training and rehearsals. The actions we announce today are designed to address that.